Hello, happy Monday. I am Jim and I'm here with Mr. Roy Al Fritz talking, chit chatting about our meeting that's upcoming next week. It's going to be on uh, cryptocurrency, blockchain, and real estate investing. I was just telling Al that we've, I've been kind of holding off on trying to keep the crypto stuff out of rig, but we can't do that anymore. It's invading. Right? Everywhere you go is crypto, 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 Bitcoin, all the magic words. And, and now there, you can buy real estate. I know we've got an, a, a uh, contractor in our group that he likes getting payments by crypto coins. So we figured that it was time to let Al loose <laughs> and talk about um, crypto coin real estate. So take it away, Al. Tell us, give us a little well, bit of, I, say, top five takeaways of what you're going to hit on next week. Well, I'm very happy to be here, and thanks for you uh, finally uh, getting there with the crypto thing. I've been doing this about five years now, and before I get started, i got to tell you that today is my 71st birthday. Well, happy April birthday, Al. April 4, 51. And... Uh, so this is a perfect time to be doing this. But uh, as I said, I've been doing crypto for about five years now. And a friend of mine wrote the book, Cryptocurrency and Real Estate, which I know you have a picture of there. We'll bring it up now. You uh, want to bring that up now. That's a pretty good picture there too, but. Uh, that's, that's a handsome dude, ain't it? To be so young. There we go. <laughs> Uh, much of my talk today will be about what's in that book and how crypto is you utilized in the real estate uh, purchasing and leasing and for renter rewards and many other aspects. But uh, the first half of the book really focuses on crypto in general. And so my talk, next Tuesday or the Tuesday the 12th will be primarily on uh, the crypto and everything associated with it, even to the point of NFTs, which I've just recently uh, invested in myself. And then the second half of the uh, presentation is going to be primarily focused around the use of crypto in real estate transactions and other uses, utility uses that, you know, are really becoming part of the crypto involvement in real estate. This is the greatest wealth transfer in our lives and our grandkids' lives because uh, many of the people that I follow in this space believe that with what's going on in the world today, uh, with the fiat finance or fiat and the central banks and everything else, that crypto may be the alternative to the future as far as our uh, finances go. Uh, there were a long ways from that because the the banks still have a an uh, ironclad hold on the uh, the finances of the world through the IMF and the central banks and so forth. But uh, uh, I believe, along with many other of my other cohorts, that uh, crypto will uh, eventually. Uh, give alternatives to people all over the world, and it already has. Uh, there are states like Salvador that have already adopted crypto as a uh, um, as a means of uh, currency or transferring value from uh, one to one another. All of the the governments out there are in the midst of creating their own currencies right now. You probably heard of the Fed coin. I don't think it's gonna come out as a Fed coin, but it's going to be uh, a digital crypto coin token of 
the Federal Reserve and all the other governments out there are doing similar things. And I just heard a, a program the other day that said that XRP, which is the Ripple token, is going to be the exchange of all of these digital government currencies going forward. And so I looked at XRP the other day and it's 82 cents. And so I, I bought a, another thousand dollars worth just because I believe that it will um, very likely be the exchange of the real digital government market. And um, how all of that relates to real estate, uh, essentially the book, again, that Jim mentioned, talks a lot about how to use crypto in exchange real estate. And exchange real estate is uh, a bit out of the norm for most people as well, because it's more of a barter system where you're utilizing different uh, currencies, be it crypto or fiat or land backed currencies or gold and silver, or maybe a, a motor home as a down payment. Those are the kinds of things that occur in uh, exchange type uh, real estate trading. And I've been a member of the Mile High Exchanges Group for about 10 years now. And it's primarily uh, in the commercial arena that this kind of exchange is more apparent and, and utilized. But uh, it, it certainly is, is utilized in the residential arena as well. So um, re re really looking forward to uh, April 12th. It's getting here faster than I anticipated because I'm still working on my slides and so forth, but I will have uh, that all put together for Jim by the end of the week so you can review and um, give me some feedback. I'm actually gonna send Manfred a set uh, as well to get his feedback on it because he's kind of been my my promoter for a, a few years now and I've known Manford he was a, he was an exchange uh, broker way back in the day and uh, we've had a great friendship for many years as well. I know Manford in his uh, yearly uh, economic forecast he's been talking about crypto and blockchain for probably what four or five years. He's been doing it a at while. Least. Oh. Yeah, at least. So, well, and I think he was probably my uh, initial uh, instigator, I suppose, to look into it back in 2017. And, uh, you know, I can tell you there's that crypto is hard. <laughs> I was involved with a guy yesterday on trying to, you know, move some crypto around and on an exchange that I haven't used yet. And as simple as, or as straightforward as I thought it would be, we took about 45 minutes uh, on a call with Steve Estel, cause I've, I've got him involved in the programs as well. And um, he eventually had to go to his phone to do it, the work because we couldn't figure out how to do it all <laughs> on the desktop. So, like I said, it can be complex, but uh, there is, and there are times when I feel that I'm just overwhelmed with all of the new stuff, and that's part of the reason my slides aren't complete yet, because the NFT program I just got involved with was just a couple of days ago. I also went, Steve and I both went to ETH Denver, ETH Denver was a conference that was here in Denver two weeks ago at downtown at the, um, the sports castle. And they said there was upwards of 20,000 people 
at this event. Wow. And the majority of all the talks, there, there was hundreds of different talks over a four day period. And much of it was about NFTs. And that's really in the arena of uh, gaming and uh, videos related to um, concerts or, or um, uh, performers and how they are using uh, NFT tokens mm -hmm. to give rewards to their followers and, you know, VIP access to their concerts, be it online or in person. And again, that's something that I've just myself uh, got connected it with in just the last few days. So, so it's, it's ever changing um, then, huh? It is ever changing. And I, I believe that the, uh, the real estate side of things is going to adopt it rapidly because of all of the regulations and and things around 1031s and and all these other factors that you know don't uh, necessarily preclude you from um, all of the SEC rules and all of those kinds of things that are required regarding 1031s and so forth but in the international world it's so much quicker and easier to transfer funds via crypto than than it has ever been with fiat and will ever be with fiat so uh again that's just another reason that i i i hope that uh, gives you all an incentive to join us on tuesday april 12th and uh I know I'm going to have a few extra folks there um, that, you know, have been following me for a while. And my real goal is to beat Man Manfred's number, which was almost 50 last week. So right. or last they'll month. help us pack the house for Al. Yes, I, I will I'm say all this. For that. I I will say this. We've had this topic scheduled for I I think for a couple of months now on the Eventbrite and Facebook. And we've had people signing up for this when I very first signed it up. So we're expecting a large crowd. So if you'd like to come, well, well please, if you're going to come, let me say that, make a commitment, put your foot down. Uh, please go on our event, right? And make sure you get a ticket for you and any of your guests. So uh, we, we can make sure you've got a seat there. And we, we're not going, we're going to, we've got a limit now. We're kind of like the, the uh, John Fisher Breakfast Club. They cut it off at a certain number because of the size of the room. And we found out last month that we're gonna do the same thing because we wanna allow everybody to have a chance to still do that 30 second elevator speech and give our speakers plenty of time. So we do have a limit of what we're allowing in the room. So please get those tickets. The tickets are free for the actual Eventbrite for all our first time guests, any Rick meeting, the first meeting is free. If you've been before, we'll ask you to either pay a membership or pay a per meeting free, a per meeting fee. I need coffee. It's Monday morning. Actually, it's no, it's Monday afternoon. Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> I need coffee even more. But Tuesday, go get that ticket. It's free. Come and be a part of the meeting. And uh, like I say, the topic is new, it's evolving. It's not new, but it's new in that it's changing every day. You've got new coins coming out. Uh, you've got different apps you can use to buy and sell and trade. And the, the, the funny part is, it's not just the young kids doing this. I'm surprised that people of all ages in my circle are like, hey, I'm getting into this. This stuff is good. And it is. You hear it everywhere. So this would be a good introduction if you haven't done anything with it. And, and come and hear about the crypto itself and then hear about how you can get involved with it in real estate investing. And Roy will have some, Al will have some time, Roy Al will have some time to uh, do some questions and answers at the end. But, uh, anything else there, my friend? Well, you mentioned John Fisher's breakfast and I just wanted to give them a plug as well. 
I did make the breakfast uh, the same week after uh, the Tuesday, your Tuesday thing. And the thing that I noticed that probably six months ago, four or five months ago, maybe, uh, I started talking crypto and it's and it's probably been about three months now, at least that I've uh, brought Steve Streetman's book, Cryptocurrency and Real Estate to that meeting. And there was a at, you know, just six months ago, I was pretty much the only one talking about it. And in this last meeting, I'll bet you there was six or seven at least people that got up and mentioned crypto in their uh, little 30 second spot as well. So the word is definitely getting out, uh, and, but it yet yeah, it is so early in the game that now is the time to be a part of it, learn, learn about it, learn how to use it, and not only in just investing, but in real estate as well. Right. All right, Al. Well, thank you for your time. Happy birthday. I'll have to give you a birthday beverage when you when I see you next week. <laughs> I appreciate I'll probably that see you Saturday well. at, at the Breakfast Club. So maybe we'll see if we can get a Yes, I will Saturday. plan on being there as well. All right, brother. Well, I sure appreciate this time. And Al and I both look forward to seeing you there at Frolic Brewing Company next Tuesday, 6 p.m. We'll be there probably about 5.30ish, 5 setting up. So if you want to come early, but We'll kick the meeting off at six to nine. Al, see you there, brother. Terrific, buddy. Appreciate it. Sure. Talk to you soon. All right, man. Y'all have All right. a wonderful investing day.